People here in Mexico City are preparing to celebrate Mexican Independence Day next week with parades, concerts and food. But they're also keeping an eye on the US presidential campaign. With the election fewer than eight weeks away, its impact south of the border is a hot topic here, and there are strong opinions about what's best for Mexico. Uh, Trump. Biden. 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 Joe Biden. Biden. Donald Trump. Biden. Biden. Many expats living in Mexico are particularly energized this year and determined not to have their voices left out. Perhaps no other country is more affected by the United States political battlefield than Mexico. The two share extensive cultural and economic ties. They are top trading partners with a US trade deficit of $100 billion in 2019 and with an ongoing migration crisis along their shared 3,000 kilometer border, Mexico is closely watching its northern neighbors next choice for president. Mexico's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, has appeared to support Trump's re-election as the two exchanged compliments during a Mexican state visit to the White House in July. Thank you very much. However, when it comes to the issues facing the U.S.-Mexico relationship, trade tariffs, migration, the border wall, remittances, undocumented migrants, DACA dreamers and diplomacy, Donald Trump and Joe Biden appear to be polar opposites, according to Manuel Obregón, a political analyst. I believe that Joe Biden is a better option. And not because he is the perfect candidate, but Trump is an unstable and unpredictable man who is generally anti-institutional, whereas Biden is both stable and diplomatic in any situation. So I think Biden is better because he's reasonable, because he thinks, because he's institutional. For Lilia Cisneros, a political commentator, some Mexicans are willing to look past the insults Trump threw at Mexico during his first campaign. For many, it's a case of better the devil you know than the devil you don't. For those who export to the U.S. or have international business dealings, which have advanced in recent years, think things will go better for them under Trump because he's seen as being good for business. As Mexico waits on America's choice in November, it has much to win or lose from the future occupant of the White House. Alastair Bavistock, CGTN, Mexico City. Good afternoon. This president long ago.